Hello everyone, this is Ntiki from South Africa. I just want to introduce you to an application called Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is a business analysis services provided by Microsoft. It provides interactive visualization with self services, businesses intelligence capabilities, where end users can create reports and dashboards by themselves without having to depend on information staff or database administration administrators, meaning that they do not need people like technicians or people who have studied study information technologies everyone can be able to have access to this application it's easy you can download it from your browser that you are using then you can be able to sign in it's for free you can be able to get data it's similar to it's similar to powerpoint because it's got a tab for home there is viewing there is modeling there is help there's also visualization fields where you can be able to drag any graph that you want. It's easy. You can be able to add images. You can be able to, to store your data. You can be able to access it on your phone, on your tablet, or in your desktop, anywhere where you are. As I've said, at Power BI, it's suit for business analysis tools to analyze data and share insights. Power BI dashboard provides a 360 degrees view for business users with their most important metrics in one place. Updated in real time and available on all of their devices. As I've said, it, you can be able to access it wherever you are. With just one click, users can explore the data behind the app dashboard using intuitive tools that make finding answers easy. The ones that I was showing you, the fields that they have, the fields that they use, that they have. And creating a dashboard is simple. Thanks to hundreds of connections to popular businesses and applications, complete with pre-built dashboards to help you get up. But you have to sign it to it first in order for you to be able to use it. As you can see, it says sources for entering data. You see, you can be able to create tables, get data from using even Excel, Web, Blank Query, and SQL. Yeah, you can be able to store data. There is a, there is, there is a field for getting data. There is Excel, Power BI services, SQL server, analysis services, taxivity, web, order free, and more and more and more and more and more. There is, there is lots you can do with Power BI desktop. As I said, I'll just make an introduction because there, there is lots to learn on it so that's why i'm saying it's better if you just download it have a, have a look in it you can learn a lot from it you can learn thousands of things from it if you are a data analysis is delivering reporting and analytics to your organization it's very helpful Power BI lets you to let you be productive and creative with what you build. So meaning what you build, okay, you can be creative on it if you are using this application. Power BI desktop is a feature rich data measure and report authoring tool. Combine data from disparate database files, web services with visual tools that help you to understand and fix data quality and formatting issues automatically. With over 20 built in visuals and vibrant community of customer visualization, create stunning reports that communicate 
your message effectively. Power BI can unify all of your organization data, whether it's the cloud or on-premises. Using the Power BI gateways, you can connect SQL, you can connect SQL servers, database, analysis, services, modeling, and many other sources you to your username. I, I've mentioned that I've mentioned that before. So yes, yes, yes. I I, I try to cut a, 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 a graph like uh, it's it's referring it's referring to all the things that uh, i mentioned earlier like they you can see the sql servers the clouds the the analysis services like where it connects power desktop access it's actually it's referring to all 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 all, all the other devices that you can be able to to store the where you can be able to store the power bi desktop thank you guys i'll see you in my next video where i'll get more deeper on power bi desktop